Wait, wait, not yet. Hold on. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just I forgot to pull up my notes. So no worries. Retraining your subconscious mind. Upon finishing retraining your subconscious mind, you all will move into your ranch here. And if if I can, can, can y'all hear me clearly? Melissa, can you hear me clearly? Am I? Okay. All right. Then. I have my, I know my microphone is great because it costs $2,000, but I have my volume down to where I can hear me just a little bit, but I can't hear all the ambient noise in the background as it is distracting. So there you go. After this, we're going to Urantia, and after this, we're going to Loft Wayne. And I need to tell you all, you are not ready for either one of those books, but you are ready. You're not ready, but you are ready. So what does that mean? It means that I, well, not I, because I didn't write the, either one of these books, but we are going to mess with your programming but it's not my fault because kim i didn't put your program in there it wasn't me oh, oh, oh time out i have no text messages of anyone who told me they was going to be late i don't have a single text message if you let somebody in diana you're fired nobody sent me a text message i'm not joking all right <clears throat> Nobody sent me to, I don't care if it's Jesus, there would be no Lord and Savior upon this phone call. We will have a heathen call today, as I meant what I have said, okay? All right, we good to go. <clears throat> People won't respect you when you're so soft, you're rolled over. I'll wait. How many of you know somebody went to work in a tropical storm? but won't apologize to their spouse. No, 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 no. First off, too many cameras off. Ayo, your camera needs to be on. Grace is on the road. Secondly, that was a real ass question. How many of you know somebody went to work in a natural disaster, but won't apologize to their significant other? Okay, Ayo, you in the car, you can cut your camera off. Don't die. When you get home, cut your camera off. You feel me? All right, then. There you go. Don't die. You're not going to sue me. No, I'm just joking, but just don't die. Nobody knows anybody? Okay. How many, you know, go, how many people you know go to work sick? Let me, let me, let me. Yes. But won't apologize at all. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Now, be, now, now I'm in your yeah. driveway. <clears throat> how many people you know go to work with an attitude, but won't smile with you with an attitude? They go sleep in the other room because they mad at you. How about that? No, no, they please they boss with an attitude. They please they boss with an attitude, but refuse. They but refuse to love on you with an attitude. Okay. Sandra has my permission. Damali, I actually forgot she was the only person that texted me. She got lucky. Sandra. It's supposed to be late every meeting due to her work. Camera's on, though. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? All right. Y all. <clears throat> Tonight's call is extremely vocal. I must admit to you, many of you would not like tonight's call. It will not be me, Melissa. Melissa, if you want, Cheyenne could be on all these calls. If any of you have children, your children could be on all these calls. As you can see, I have my children on these calls. Okay. Yes. Crip signs and blood signs. Yes. Okay. Your children can go for free. Okay. Kim came from the hood. She know about that stacking. She was listening to Regulators by Warren G in the 90s, 9-4. You know, nine three. You know, mount up, regular in in the in the LB streets, Mister Warren B. Is y'all that young? Hit the east side with the LB. I was in the two one three. So I hit Mr. the road on the two one in Lewis. All right, thank you so much. All right, I'm right. the clear black knight. 
Oh, okay. like thank you, so, like, thank oh, you so much, Grace. I mean, Grace driving and know about Warren G and Death Row Records. <clears throat> For my white people, I'm sorry we missed you with that reference. That was a black reference. That was a very black reference for sure. I have no idea what the 90s version of rock and roll is, but apply that and it's applicable. I have no idea. Tonight, you will not like this conversation if you are programmed. However, all of us are programmed. Did I just say something? Chef Jay? I'll say it again. Tonight, you would not like this pro this conversation if you're programmed. However, or but, all of us is programmed. Does that make sense? That means nobody here is going to like this conversation with the exception of the true wanderers who, are, who remember they are a wanderer. That's a different conversation for a different time in Urantia and Law of One. But I can't give that to you right now because we haven't got there. Phil, you understand. Susan, you understand. Deanna, you understand that I can't just rush these people in the Urantia. Phil, you know this here. They can't even hear Marianne Williamson without retraining themselves not just mine. I can't just rush these folk in. We have to make them fertile soil so they can receive. All right. Everybody is dialoguing. The brain is a record. Who, who, Deanna, are you my note taker today? Because Deanna is driving. Do you mind putting it in the chat for me? The brain is a record. Our brains are organized to reflect our life experiences and memories. Period. Can you repeat that? Our brains are a record. Our brains are organized to reflect our life experiences and our memories. Y'all ready? Uh-oh. Watch, bump in the tape. Uh-oh. Y'all ready? Because I'm not finished. Don't hit any yet. Y'all hear me? Everybody hear me? Last sentence, Deanna. Our brains are the worst thing that ever happened to us. Now, hear me well. Our brains are a record. Our brains are organized to reflect our life experiences, and our memories. Controversial sentence ensues, Jerome. Our brains are the worst thing to ever happen to us. You, I don't want to hear nothing positive. I don't want to hear nobody say, but you know what? Nope. The next point is positive. But if you follow me, Chef J. We need to have a serious conversation how our brain is your worst enemy. Is there, is there, is there one that got the... I just need one more. I'll make two. Thank you so much. I, uh, so I got three and four. I don't want to hear no damn spiritual talk. I don't want to hear how good God is. That's the next point. I'm not leaving it out, Jerome. But that's the problem with us spiritual folk. We never want to address the darkness of this world. All we want to do is shift, Jay. Shift, Jay. All we want to do is go. The muffins are light and brown and soft. Sometimes we burn the muffins. And I'm having a burnt these muffins conversation. No, you. It's okay. Sit down. Just let her be six. You pay attention. Are we understanding that I'm talking? I didn't ask you if you agree, Melissa. I just asked you if you understand I'm talking. All right, then. So, you know, in the military, they say concur or non-concur. That means F you, I non-concur, I don't agree with none of this, but it doesn't mean agree or non-agree. In, in, in our United States 
court system. What is it called? It's called like what they say you plead no contest. There it is. That's not admitting guilt. You're just saying, according to this case, I got no contest. Y'all want to act like y'all ain't never been in jail before with no traffic tickets, but some of y'all been in jail a few times over these municipal records. But since they don't show up on no background check, you want to act like you ain't no heathen like me and Kim. Kim's not a heathen. I just wanted to throw in somebody's name that was going to smile on camera. That's all I wanted to do. That's all that was. Okay. I, I, my homie Damali understandeth me. All right. Our brains. Diana, you first. Damali, you second. Kim, you third. Chef J, you fourth. I would write that down. Write, 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 write that order down, please. Diana, Damali, Kim, Jaya. Her actual name is Jaya, according to uh, phonics. But for whatever reason, her mama said her name is Jaya. So that's her damn name. Okay. It is Jaya, though. AI is a diphthong. It's a diphthong. If you you don't walk down the A aisle, you walk down the aisle. It's Jaya. <laughs> period. <laughs> no Jaya. It's just Jaya. That's how and we pronounce it. And y'all heard what she said. Jaya's out there, but my name is Jaya. And y'all heard Spell what she said. J A I A. Did you hear what she said? <laughs> nah, Antonio. There you go. Smack on the hand. You heard what she said. Nah. I'm acting like, I'll forget your English degree. Don't, don't listen to Antonio because he called me Trey Nate for weeks. I did. But that was your name. That's what I was told you was called. Trey Nace. Not Trey Nace. That short E in your damn name that don't make no sense. Your mama should have named you Catherine. That would have been easy to pronounce. But I can't say that, Phil. That's offensive. That's offensive. It's offensive. It's offensive. All right. Our brains are a record. Our brains are organized to reflect our life experiences and our memories. Now, I want to be very serious now because we need to have a serious conversation. No, it's okay. Our brains are the worst thing to ever happen to us. If you try, to be positive, I am going to cut you off and move on to the next person. Point two is positive. Do not be positive on this one because the problem with Christians and spiritual people is you don't want to recognize you are the worst thing that ever happened to this planet. You are a narcissist. You are genuinely messing your child up. And for now, we want to pretend just for a moment, Melissa, that Antonio tried not to be like his mama, but act like his damn mama because he tried not to be like his mama. Can I get a witness of all the people who tried not to be like their mama, but ended up being just like their mama on this call? Unmute your mics. Let them know I'm not alone in this place. Come on, y'all unmute your mics. Come on. Hello. 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 Thank you so much. Point two is positive. And you could give me all your Jesus Christ, born new creature, born from above, reborn again. You give me all that talk on the second point. But for now, we need to recognize it ain't our parents' fault while we jacked up. It's us. We turned on our parents with our trash brain. Deanna, you first. Come on, talk to me. Man. As I got older and I started looking back, I'm like, dang, I missed out on a lot of blessings because of how I thought about my mama. You talking, you talking. I mean, I missed, I missed a scholar, a full musical scholar, four-year scholarship to the college of my choice. I missed out on that. I missed out on going to Tuskegee, Alabama to get my veterinarian degree. I missed out on like I wouldn't have to I wouldn't have had to pay for housing because my mom was gonna get a two bedroom, a two bedroom apartment or house, small house in the area for me and my brother. 
but because of how I thought about my mom, I had a certain perception about my brother. And because of that, I didn't go. So the two things that I wanted most, I wanted to be a veterinarian and I loved music. I miss out on the blessings that would have allowed me to pursue these things, to actually have the college experience, to be able to say, to be able to open my own veterinarian practice, like all that, the ranch, the farm, like I turned down blessings because of my perception of my, of my mom. So when it, when you say our brains are the worst things, the worst thing that ever happened to us, because of my brain, I missed out on that. And it, it then it makes me, it, sometimes it makes me wonder, okay, so what else did you miss out on? If you missed out on two big things like that, what are the little things along the way you missed out on because of how you've, how you're, because of your mindset, your mindset and your perception of your mom? Stop right there. Let me pause you right there. Please continue when I pick back up. Please, all of you four names, allow me to interrupt you at certain teachable points. But please, by all means, I want you all to be transparent should you have the balls to do so or the fortitude because ladies don't have balls. The fortitude to do so. Allow me to say this here. How many of us, my Hannah first, have never seen a healthy relationship in our lives, including our parents. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> there you go. Thank you so much, Phil. I sure appreciate you. No, no, keep your hands up. Hold on, keep your hands up for these folk hiding behind us. Hiding behind us. All right, now I'm going to yep. get some more hands. How many yep. of us, yep. our parents didn't show us a healthy relationship? Raise your dog on hand. Keep your hand, keep your hand up, keep your hand. So that, that, I'm not asking if you've seen a healthy relationship. I'm asking if your parents was growing up while they while you was growing up. Amen. Thank you so much. All right, keep put your hands down. I need you to get that while you was growing up, so was your parents. You need to cut them some slack. You need to stop blaming them for how why your life is messed up. Your parents was 22. How many of you was together at 22? 32. Hell, 42. It's some folk 42 on this car right now going, I don't know why I'm behind. I don't get it. Y'all, they did what they could. And you know the sad thing about this car right now, y'all? Somebody agreed with everything we said so far and ain't said nothing. And that is why we are here. Because you cannot bend your path hiding, fronting like you already do. Keep going, Dion. You talking today. And because of how I perceived my mom if there was like any hint of that in any relationship I was in I shut it down like I from it was January 1st 2001 I was 17 I made the decision that I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do when I want to do how I want to do it and I stop lived- right there stop right there how many of you, hands up first, I got my hand up first, they Kim say, I already got my hand up and tell her whatever you're going to say is true. You are not taking business advice from your parents. It just is what it is. Ain't no sense of you lying. It's, it, it ain't no sense of you lying. You not. <laughs> you ain't taking no better. Once again, our parents don't know what we need them to know. Nah. I'm saying this in front of my kid. My kid's on this car right now. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Our parents don't know what we need them to know. So if you have a parent who knows what you need them to know, you are blessed. You're also probably lazy. You probably don't work out every day. You probably ain't working on your dreams because a good parent is often an enabling parent by accident. Oh, y'all gonna pay attention to me today. 
Can I can I keep it transparent real quick? Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Smith, you better watch yourself because you're gonna get cussed out. I am. Or somebody gonna punch you in your face. Or okay. assassinated by the government. Whatever. <laughs> because because I'm gonna tell you right now, I, I, I can't speak for nobody else on this call, but I'm sick and tired of you making me confess to stuff I don't want to confess to. I'm telling you, I don't know about nobody else. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of this, okay? But you pay me to do that, Jerome. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you my money up front, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> okay, listen to me. Listen to me, y'all. My kids, Aaron, 6, Ashton, 11, Aiden, 14, about to be 15. I've done a good job with them. They wonderful, beautiful, sexy mother has done a good job with them. And they we've done such a good job with our kids. They enable. They ain't got no damn bedtime. We're still on Monique? Still on? Okay. They ain't got see, no see, bedtime. See, see, here you go again. I was I said in the back of my mind, I'm gonna I'm ask him about his kids. Now what he gonna do? Talk about his kids. See? <laughs> they ain't got no bedtime. I can't stand it. They ain't got to go no school. They ain't got nothing. So what happens is while we've done a good job, when I the conversation I had with my I had my conversation with the boys, the little girl, a little too young. She's too young for her daddy. She's the right age for her mama. Does that relate? Because she's six. I don't know what to do, no little girl. Jay, Jay I don't know. I don't know what she's gonna do when she get her first period. I don't know. I don't know how to wipe her. I've changed her diaper once, twice, twice or once. She said she'll give me two times. I was uncomfortable. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was a pedophile every time I did it. Ah, I, I don't know how to open nothing up, wipe nothing down. I can't do it. It's I'm 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 transparently serious. I don't know what to do with Kim. But this is how you single mothers are raising a boy. You won't admit it. Because popular vernacular says you doing a good job, but you as equally as awkward as me. I don't know what to do with this girl's vagina. I'm not even supposed to be looking at it, Kim. That's her mama job. Yeah, I don't want to keep it real, but that's okay. I know how to keep it real. Can we like, all bow in prayer? This. Brother needs no, to pray. Please bow in prayer. Because as soon as my son says, mommy, my penis, or mommy, my bag, uh, mm -mm. so talk to your daddy. I don't know. Go to your daddy. <laughs> go to your daddy. <laughs> go to your daddy. I don't know what to do with my girl's little well, Barbie I parts. It. I did it for all my, I didn't have any boys that with my sense. children, but I had boys with my grandchildren and raising them and well, help raising them and raising them. I wow. did what I needed to do. And all no the doubt. time I felt wow. awkward, but no I doubt. did what I needed to do. No doubt. It was it was not like having a girl. No doubt. Then things Res had to be done. No doubt. Respectively, doing what Antonio, I'm not saying nobody else feel, feel if they crucify me, they wrong because I'm only I said Antonio name. That's all I said. Respectfully, Antonio doing what he needed to do, Jaya, is not mostly the right thing to do. Most of the time, when Antonio does what he needs to do, it leaves trauma for whoever the hell I'm doing what I needed to do with. See, there I go, Kim. Thank you so much for nodding your head, Kim, because they they want to act like I saw I saw you I saw you, Trace. I ain't gonna forget you. They, they Kim, Kim, let me say it again for the folk hiding behind religion, denominational walls, spirituality, rituals, and sacrifices. Let me help y'all again. Most of the time, by most I mean ninety nine percent of the time, Phil, I did what I needed to do. It brought trauma to whoever the hell I did what I needed to do. Let me help y'all out. Need comes from lack. If I do what I need 
to do. It means I made the wrong decision, whether you want to admit it or not. Only the super ascended will understand what I just said. Everybody else is like got a problem with me right now, Phil. That's why I ain't read your ranch here right now. And I can thank Phil and Susan for your ranch here. If I do what Melissa need me to do, that ain't enough. Jerome's apostle Paul said, that's my reasonable service. That ain't enough. And he said it was stank face. That's your reasonable service. You're supposed to be holy and acceptable. How you and know he did it with a face? He did. You know he did. Paul <laughs> acted just like Antonio Theodore Smith Jr. And Paul said to be holy to Adonia and to be acceptable to Adonia and to be perfect to Adonia is my reasonable service. You don't get no damn reward from that. That's what Paul said. Is there a Christian that's going to disagree with me on this call? Is it? Is it? Amen and okay. amen. Thank you so much. Paul said treating Kim well, spoiling her, getting her French manicures and all that stuff, that's reasonable. Being faithful ain't a dosh compliment. That's not what I was going to say. I, dosh ain't even a word. That's D-A-R-S-H. I think I made it up on the spot. Being faithful so does that is come reasonable. In with the what you have reasonable. done is what you ought to have done. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. Being nice to somebody rude to you is reasonable. You know what? According to Christians, you know why it's reasonable, Trinace? Because Jesus died for you. He gave his life. You better give your living. Come on, Christians. Where, where you Christians at? Where you? Where you? All right, Deanna, you... Okay, thank you so much. According to Christians, being your best self is your legal obligation according to the cross. You didn't come here to be your best self. You come here to be your legendary God self according to the apostle Paul. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So if you're doing a 100% good job, that ain't good enough. That's your Bible. But Jerome, remember, Jerome, you our elder statesman in the Bible, Deacon Jerome, have I stepped outside of thine scriptures? You have not. But that doesn't make me feel any better. So well, I mean, you. I, I, you're right about that. Nah, I, I didn't say every message from the Lord should make you feel good. That ain't what I said. Some of these messages from the Lord ought to convict you. <laughs> Some of them ought to make you feel like you're not doing enough. All right, Deanna, you're going to finish. Then we're going to get to Tr Tracy, and then we'll go through our list. Go ahead, Deanna. So because of my perception of my mom, anything, any relationship I was I was in, if it hinted towards my mom in any way, that was like an instant red flag for me. Mm. So I purposely did things to destroy relationships, to sabotage them. Cause like you, nah, my mama did that. I don't, you did that. I don't like how this makes me feel. Mm -hmm. so I don't like how this makes me feel. Mm -hmm. We can be friends, but I can't sleep with my mom. Thank you, Donna. How many of you said, oh, you remind me of somebody I didn't like, I used to like, but I don't like no more because they betrayed me. I can't deal with you. <clears throat> my hand up first. Thank you so much, Talisha. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tracy waved the hand real quick because whoever she was looking at, that was him. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's not true. I'm being messy. I'm being petty. That's not true. I just couldn't resist the moment. Uh, that's all. Go ahead, Deanna. I couldn't resist. It was too funny. I couldn't resist. Can I say this real quick? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, so, is you home? Because if you home, home, your camera need to be on. I'm. I'm not at home. I'm at okay, work. Hiding in, in the hiding them boxes. Hiding them boxes. <laughs> Keep going. You talk. You talk all day. You go here. Because <laughs> the supervisor just went off. <laughs> 
You did well. You good. You good. That was my fault. Okay. So this this what I want. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh Lord, don't come too fast. Though. Finding me out. Well, okay, so I had a double meaning. This, keep going. This is what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I don't like the person, or or I just I I just feel like I have to guard my peace around this person now. Does that make sense? I have to guard the word and the peace that God has put in me to be peaceable in order for me to be peaceable toward them. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Fair enough. Fair enough. I do receive that. Dan, I want you to go ahead and finish. Let the Lord use you. But again, our brains are the worst thing that ever happened to us. Because All negative. While I while the things in my perception that were bad about my mom triggered me to destroy relationships, the things in my head about my mom that I desired from her drove me towards people who didn't, who I should not have been with. Stop right there. Deanna, I know you got plenty more to say. We won't need you to say no more. Thank you so much. I'll get to these other people. Is there anybody else who grew up to date the very person that they wanted to do better? You see, my hand up first. Thank y'all so much. I, I so appreciate it. It's only like four of us transparent people here. The rest of us is full of vodka. You understand? I, I, I changed it to run my kids in front. Actually, I cuss in front. Well, actually, they mama cuss in front of the kids. I do the occasion. You... Okay, I'm not supposed to tell y'all that. It's okay. Jesus. Okay, I'll stuck in front of my motherfucking kids. And... <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Deanna said, I went out, rejected my mama, but accidentally went looking for what I wanted my mama to give me. And it was toxic too. The thing you have a problem with, so me and me and me and Kim are dating. Congratulations, Antonio, dating Kim. And Kim, even though her man is in the background listening, no disrespect, I'm just using that as a hypothetical example. Kim is dating me, and then I say, you do this because blah, 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 blah. My correction ain't against Kim. My correction is what I truly need to heal in myself. I just had a conversation with one of y'all today. It doesn't matter who it is. And I wanted to tell that one because I really, really care about the one of y'all. That it doesn't matter who it is. They know who it is. And it was like, I ought to punch you in your face, Antonio. And I was like, I ought to punch you in your face. Carlos, that's not their name. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? But this person didn't understand that their complaint with me was the greatest need of healing in themselves. I'll do it again. If I say, do I hope you always out with your friends? I'm on. so congratulations, Jerome. You with my sexy self. Congratulations, Jerome. You, you know, you, you're welcome. <clears throat> I, I, I bestow upon you gayness. Good job. Jerome, I'm complaining against Jerome. The truth is, what I need from Jerome is to be up under me all the time because my mama wasn't because my daddy wasn't. Shit. I spent a lot of money on this microphone. Oh hit it God. again, hit it again. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all ever seen it. It's a real like studio mic too. I don't know if y'all ever hey, seen hey, it. Hey, Antonio. Yeah, talk to your boy. Um, <laughs> It just made me think about something when you just I, said that. I'm so glad. Uh, when I was with my wife, Okay, the first, you know how when a little boy is with his mother, 
and something frightens him. Yep. And he runs over and what he does, he wraps around her leg. That's right. And that's, 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 you know, he's safe. He feels safe when he does that. And hearing you just say that when I was with my wife, Mm -hmm. I had a habit. That's right. I would hold one of her legs. Yep. And yep. I used to just rub her leg all the time. And I never knew why I did that or where I got that from. Come on, now, man. even even when my son, uh, son passed away in March and I went down to take care of everything, I stayed the week, you know, at the missus house. I slept in my son's room. She, and although we hadn't been together in 11 years, when she walked by, there was this strong urge in me and I reached out and grabbed her leg and held on to it like I used to do while we were married and I actually told her I said you know it's been a long time I said I've been wanting to do that and I didn't think about that man until you just said what you just said and I'm like so that's the little boy you know that was holding on to his mama's leg for safety (laughs) and I did that for years you know with my wife when I was with her for years Thank Even you. in March, when we hadn't been together in 11 years, there was a strong urge that came up in me, and I did it. Thank you, Thank you for your transparency, man. I was hoping somebody get all the way vulnerable and make themselves look stupid on this call. Because here's the deal. I ain't never raised, I never grew up with a mama. My first wife I married March 15th, 2003. I met her in high school. She was already a mama. Rewind, press play. You didn't, you missed it. You missed it. You missed it, Janae. I didn't grow up with a mom. And guess what I wanted the most, Jaya? Not Jaya, but Jaya. Guess what I wanted the most? I wanted a mom. So at 14 years old, no, 16 years old, my high school sweetheart was a was a 16-year-old who had a baby at 14. You missed it. Third time, maybe a few more people to get it. Since I was looking for a mama, I can only be attracted to a woman who would hurt me, who was already a mama. <clears throat> am I making some sense? Am I, am, I, am, I, am I making some sense? Thank you so much. And all you women with jacked up mamas, guess what you date? Feminine men or masculine a-hole men who act like your privileged mama. I'll wait. Is there someone who wants to disagree? Yeah. I'll take all disagreements on the table right now. Go ahead, Demond. No, I'm not disagreeing. I'm I'm a man, hallelujah, because I did marry my my a hole husband who acts like my mama, who is healing from his a hole tendencies, and he does exactly what I I hate my mom does or did when I was a kid. He does it. And the part of me that I need to hear most is what he does to me that I do to my kids. So it's all like, I'm just all wrapped up in my mama problems right now. Is there anybody else on this phone call who is willing to admit that your parents jacked you up and no matter how old you are, you still jacked up come on i'm gonna hear your voices i wanna i need my i, I need it was my daddy it wasn't my mom it was my dad yes yes, yes. I'm, with you, I'm with you it okay. was my okay, grandmother CJ. yeah yeah no doubt it was my father yes oh yeah go, go ahead chef jay i get it i get i get it yeah yeah chef jay got it she'll come back in a little bit uh so does thou receive it that sometimes kim we jacked up. Okay. Now, before I get to the, I got to the. Well, before I get, I'm Demali. You gonna speak, even though you spoke. Kim, you gonna speak, but I need to say something else <clears throat> because we all know. Talisha, help me out real quick. Is that mayonnaise or ranch? Because if that's mayonnaise, you gotta get off this call immediately. Uh, okay. Classic season. Because if that was mayonnaise, you got to go. We cannot have. Mayonnaise eating folk on this call. We can't have it. <laughs> Did you like mayonnaise? Wait, what? You got to go, Kim. No, no, don't go. Don't go. You're too valuable. Wait, For the rest mayonnaise of you who not Kim, really got to go. Okay. We no, can't have good. mayonnaise eating folks. Will. That's nice. 
Is, uh, are, are we ta- are we calling Miracle Whip mayonnaise? Or are we calling mayonnaise mayonnaise? We calling Duke's mayonnaise. <gasps> okay. yeah. Clearly, I'm barking up the wrong tree, so I'm going to just submit my way on out of this conversation. Thank you very much. I guess I'm hanging up. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging ignorant. up. I've been hanging up. I've been hanging up for years. Okay? So every feminist alpha woman is eating mayonnaise on this call. Mine is organic. Oh, so what you going to say about that? Now I'm going yeah. to say Diddy now. You're too valuable. You're too valuable. Right, because I've been vegan now. You're so. too mm-hmm. valuable. No, you're I'm getting I'm, I'm, mm-hmm, Whatever. But every feminist alpha woman on this call who don't take no blank from no blank y'all eat mayonnaise i might need to write a paper you're about welcome that. <laughs> i might need to write a paper about this i feel like this should be a peer would you say brace you eat mayonnaise too i eat mayonnaise so 100 percent i do not eat mayonnaise but you, but you're not a you're not a feminist though. You are you're not a you're the only one you're the only alpha woman on this call who is not a feminist. Every other feminist on this call eats mayonnaise. I think I have discovered something. What's the I problem am, with mayonnaise? First off, black people don't eat mayonnaise. Have you not seen Undercover Brother? Okay, you, you we need to rewire you up because you, you just <laughs> all confused. I just called Antonio and Deanna. Black people don't eat mayonnaise. Black people yeah, eat Deanna, hot come sauce. In here. Save him. Hot Save him. sauce <laughs> and ranch. Black people don't eat mayonnaise. That's such a stereotype. Y'all forgive me. This yes, is this is. is this is this is so <laughs> heathen of me. They're gonna look at this call and go, see, this is why he shouldn't run for president. Right? That, that, that's what they're gonna do. This is such a, such a terrible call. Such a terrible call. But it is funny that every feminist alpha woman who says, I don't need no man, but I'll take one if he act right, eats mayonnaise. Phil, I think I discovered something. I think I need to write a peer review. It's Miracle Whip and mayonnaise. Miracle Whip is not mayonnaise. I eat Miracle Whip. Uh, no. I don't, I don't eat mayonnaise, but I love Miracle Whip. What about so, the men that eat mayonnaise on Miracle Whip? What's what's up with them? There is no men who eat mayonnaise. Those are those are women waivers. Okay, <laughs> any man who eats mayonnaise is a woman waiver. No, nah, I'm just joking. That's, that's I'm you. Just you joking. need to be a science project. <laughs> you need to be a science project. Let's A one sauce. A1 sauce. That's it right there. There you go. <laughs> Why would you put that on steak, man? I'm messing it up. That's just me. Hey, no. That's funny, though. I did not know how many mayonnaise eaters. And y'all were like, forget Miracle. That's not mayonnaise. It's Miracle. Okay, I get it. I, I, Jerome, I don't just stand corrected. I stand ignorant. You understand? Thou is ignorant. All right, let's now you answer. know. And now I know. That's what happened when you open your mouth before you pray. You understand? That's what happened. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. <clears throat> so I do have something to say besides the whole mandate rant that we just went on. Before I get to the Molly Kim Jaya, who's now back on, we didn't have a serious conversation. What if I'm right to assume? that everybody we've ever had a problem with truly highlighted the problem we have with ourselves. Is there comments? Is there? Facts on facts on facts on facts. That's all okay. I got. Tell us why, Damali. Tell us why. She said that's all she got. Because, Tell us shortly why because, you got it. And then somebody because, else do it. Since I became more mindful of my need to heal and I started paying more attention, one of the things, I don't know where I got it from, I heard somewhere was, if you find yourself being upset with someone, ask yourself, what are you seeing in them that you need to fix in you? And so when I, when I started, you know, really sitting down and thinking about that, okay, I'm getting mad at you because as soon as I say something, you act with an attitude. Well, damn, every time my husband says something, react with attitude okay i'm upset because you keep judging everything like you're just overcritical okay well damn i'm overcritical so it's just like when i started really paying attention to what i'm upset about i do the same thing i'm getting upset with people about 
um, doing to me. So it just became blatantly clear that whenever I'm upset with somebody, just sit there and just wonder and think about why you're upset. And when I do ponder, it always comes back to, oh, why am I upset? I do the same thing. Yeah, that's fair. Anybody else can agree with that or you disagree? Is it is there someone who disagrees? I love I would love to hear a disagree. I, you won't be attacked. I just, okay, go ahead. I agree. Uh I have been on a three state trip with my parents for a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm doing I did the same thing that I was said. I would want to if you like you know, you, your parents do some things that get on your nerves. Now that's all you uh, hold on, hold on. Before you finish, fair. before you finish. And I don't know who you're in front of or where you're at. But let me just help Grace out. I mean, I'm not helping Grace. I'm helping y'all out. Grace can't stand her parents. Her parents can't stand her. You hear me? Because when you get grown, I don't know a single mother. I don't, excuse me. I don't know a single woman on the planet that want to go back to dealing with their parents on a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week basis. And I don't know a mother or a father on the planet that want to raise you for 20, 18, 25 years and deal with you at 33, 44, 45. All right, keep going, Grace. I just wanted to go ahead and defend you because they was trying to hide behind you, Grace. I wanted them to know. Keep going. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, they were right. Yeah, they were right. I just have to get out of there so you can get on my nerves. But as I've been on this trip, I'm be like, and I'm saying this to myself, because of course I'm not going to say that to black parents out loud. Anyway, I don't care how about it. But, and when they would, they would do such things that get on my nerves, I'd be like, wait a minute. I do that. This is where I get this. This is where I get this. I can't say nothing. <laughs> this is like, oh, I'm just going to be the parent. You know, be, you know. And I don't know if y'all ever heard anybody ever say, once you get grown, it's like the roles reverse. The parents are not a kid, the kids are not parents. Oh my God. This is, <laughs> but, you know. But yeah, I, every, the stuff I've That's seen fair. this whole week, I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah. That's fair. That's, it. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Remind me to tell y'all of a new class that's coming up that y'all don't know nothing about. Y'all can thank Trinace for it. Don't let me forget. If you remind me, I'll bring it up. If you feel the spirit saying bring it, I'll bring it up at the right time or I'll wait. But if you remind me, it is so relevant to this conversation. It is so relevant for this conversation. Because there is a disconnect between Talisha and Antonio, and y'all don't know what it is. There's a disconnect between Kim and Antonio, and y'all don't know what it is. Big disconnect. But the only motor scooter who can deal with Kim is Antonio. I'm not talking about me personally. I'm talking about my personality type. It'll make sense. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get there. You know what? This is what we're going to do. <clears throat> Melissa, whenever you're ready for me to bring it up, I'll bring it up. Is that fair? Bring it up. Shit, Melissa, you could have waited like a couple of paragraphs from now. Yeah. <laughs> you know better than call me. Uh, me. I'm going to have you. you. I should have called you. <laughs> All right. Feminist alpha women or alpha women who are not feminists Y'all problem is you're looking for a man who could handle you or a man who knows his place. That's a beta man and an alpha man. And y'all don't get along with either one because an alpha man is too sensitive and too arrogant and too easily provoked that he can't handle Kim going bleep you bleep and bleep and separate that from I'm not really mad at you you hit my trigger blah 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 before I move on I got I'm I'm Kim I'm sorry for using your name I'm just I'm just talking I'm I'm just talking okay but have you understood what I said so far I'll rewind so more can understand Kim because see me we, me and you together the rest of these folks they're not together. you stupid I am very much so. And thank God for being stupid. All right. Feminist, strong women, 
I ain't going to deal with a motor scooting bleep, bleep, bleep women. Y'all are blessings. But an alpha man can't handle y'all. And a beta man, you run all over and you bored and you sick of them. Is there a woman sick of the man you had? Have? Don't say have. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Because he might be listening. Wait a minute. Had in the past 30 years ago. There we go. Is there a is there a woman who had a man 30 years ago? There you go. That's, that's what I'm saying right now. And you was like, mm, I don't know why I even was attracted to you. You make me sick. Come on. How many women? I, I need I need all of them here. Is that? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Only woman who followed me is an alpha woman sick of somebody blank keep that this is a i told monique yesterday i saw a meme on instagram that about her toxic trait her toxic trait is she need to clean up all by herself because can't nobody clean up better than her but then she get mad and ain't nobody helping her clean up <laughs> so if you fit that description i'm talking to you that is that's very so much an alpha woman if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. The problem with an alpha woman is you're looking for an alpha man that can handle you. Where is Adonia yet? Adonia can't no mother move the school to handle you. You know it. I disagree. Disagree with me. Come on, let me hear. Let me hear. Just you, you, I disagree. You make it seem like we're so difficult. No, 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 no. That's actually what I'm saying. What I'm actually saying is you need a sigma male, not an alpha male, not a beta male. A sigma male don't find you difficult. The alpha male finds you difficult. The beta man bores you. The sigma man loves you. That's what what I want you to do. So we can see if we're on the same page. Define each one of those sigma, alpha, and beta. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Deanna, do me a favor. Pull up a very short clip of Sigma male. And then a beta male is not the lion of the pride. That's the man you can run all over. I don't want to run over no man, so keep going. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Sorry. So we got right. real Adonia today, y'all. She always real. But we got she like super she real didn't, Adonia she today. She didn't just run over you, did she? <laughs> no doubt. An alpha male is the I need to be in charge and you can't have your opinion because I need to be in charge, man. I'm the lion of the jungle. He was good until you said I couldn't have an opinion. That's right. That's what an alpha what I'm, you think of, what's an I'm alpha? Good. That's what an alpha is. But but I, I like the alpha to take lead, but I also need that, to be able to have an opinion. That's now, I still only might let you lead, but I still going to tell you I didn't like what you decided to do, but I'm going to let you do it. That's a blessing. That's only because you've never been educated on the sigma you know? <laughs> A sigma male is an alpha male, but stronger. Deanna found the seven-minute video. Pull it up. I'm not going to explain Sigma male. I'm going to have this video explain Sigma male and I'll stop because I'm sure it's going to get into three three minutes in. Let's run it, Deanna. And hold, hold on, hold on. Before you hit play, all you ladies, listen to me. And I want Melissa, because you are the you are the black version of Antonio because Melissa is black, y'all. I have adopted her into the African descendancy. Like she got that little gray patch. I'm gonna lock that up. I'm gonna she gonna I'm gonna lock it. Like when we go, like when when, when she, when she go to Vegas on the thing, I'm gonna lock it up. She gonna she gonna come back with a with a with a with a nappy, and I mean nappy from a good standpoint. That little gray thing will be nappy. I'm gonna lock it up, y'all. Okay. I'm I'm gonna bring my crochet needle. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring my crochet needle and get that get that done. Okay. Sigma male hit play. Oh no, 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 no hit play. I'm sorry. I want Monique. This is this is a collective call. I want Monique and I want all of you ladies to understand what turns you on. And I promise you, just think about that. This video will make sense. Go ahead. All right, she is resharing her screen. She done lost the video. Yeah, I got some mercils. Okay. Well, that's all right. We could listen to the commercials while you. I mean, we we just we just don't want to be bored. You understand? 
All right, there you go. Let's roll. My bad, y'all. Eight signs you are a sigma male, the rarest of all men. You're probably familiar with the classic male sociosexual hierarchy. It's typically thought of as a pyramid. At the top are the alphas, those super confident, driven, and assertive men who are incredibly social and thrive on attention. The betas are the nice guys who are more sensitive and less aggressive. Then there's the deltas, the average guys who keep society running smoothly. Next come the gammas, who aren't as successful with women and not liked quite as much by other men. And at the bottom of the pyramid are the omegas, the fun-loving but non-aspirational individuals. Now, there is another type of guy, the sigma male, who doesn't fit into any of the traditional male archetypes. And Pause these men are Pause considered right the... Back it up to that pyramid. I'm trying to teach y'all something. I'm actually going to teach this course in a little bit, but not now. Not right there. <clears throat> Omega, that's... I, I don't have time to go through all these things. Omega, Gamma, Delta, Beta, Alpha. Y'all know this. You don't need to learn this, Monique. You don't need to learn this, JF. It's already in y'all. These are the motor scooters you put in the friend zone. Stop the goddamn, stop, stop the camera. Stop the camera. Stop, stop the thing. Everybody, I, I, I need all y'all listening to me. No, no, this is important because I'm trying to get y'all and retrain your subconscious. How many of you know it's one little motor scooter out there. I mean, motor scooter as MS to MF. You understand? It's one motor scooter. You can't put him in the friend zone. This, he ain't listening. And he going to get you. Forget what you're talking about. He going to get you. He said what he said. It is what it is. You friends on him all you want to. He ain't listening, Kim. That's why you got with him. Because he tried for seven years and so he got your ass. I'm sorry. But you understand the point, though. You understand. This, this is what it is. That's a... That's a... Keep going, Deanna. Keep, 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 keep. keep going. I don't want to say too much. Some people don't fit in the box. No, no. I need y'all to... I'm trying to teach y'all something. This is retraining your subconscious. Keep going, y'all. ...into any of the traditional male archetypes. And these men are considered the rarest type. Here's how to tell if you're one of them. Number one. You're comfortable being alone. Okay, the Sigma hold on. male is alone. Hold on, Gianna, do me a favor. Go, go to YouTube real quick. Let's not do this video. This video from a male perspective. I forget all that. Type in why women like Sigma males. There you go. <clears throat> Type it in. This, this would be more relevant to our current conversation. We're not training males. We're there. All right, there you go. That, that one there eight months ago. Why stinker? Why stinker? Right there. Let's go with that. Purina Cat Chow for fun loving adult about. felines and cats of all ages. The male perspective. Make 20 cups of deliciously rich and coffee with coffee made at YouTube, home. You owe me money. Perfect made. You owe me money, made. YouTube. I ain't getting this. There's ever. something about Sigma males that just makes women feel attracted to them. Maybe it's their confident attitude or their seductive charm. Whatever it is, there's no denying these guys have a special appeal. While not all women will be attracted to a Sigma male, there are some who simply can't resist that magnetic attraction. So what are some of the reasons why women fall for Sigma males? Number one, they're highly intelligent but modest. Sigma males don't need to show off their intelligence or try to prove themselves to others. They are highly intelligent, but you would never know it just by looking at them. They can be quiet and seem quiet but there is a lot going on behind the scenes. Sigmas are highly intuitive and perceptive people who don't need an ego boost from others in order to feel good about themselves. They are wise beyond their years and take things in from a big picture perspective. They don't need to be the smartest guy in the room or seek approval from others, which is why many people find Sigmas intimidating at first. But once you get to know the Sigma, you will understand that his powerful presence and quiet confidence are what make him so attractive to others. While alpha males tend to boast and show off their intelligence, sigmas are modest oh, and right stay there. under the radar. They avoid being... Going. Jerome is a sigma male. Phil is a sigma male. 
and the only people who follow Antonio Theodore Smith Jr. are Sigma males. Your alpha male is absolutely 100% intimidated by me and offended by me. Okay, help me, Lauren, help me. And, so and apparently- That's one minute and 23 seconds in. We, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, we, we there, I, I'm there. Wow. So apparently I attract alpha, but I think I want a Sigma. So what That's I need- Exactly. To, I'm just saying, I, I I'm am, just saying. Oh I am absolutely <laughs> releasing this class tomorrow. And I got Trinace in it. I got Adonia in it. She don't even know she's the only person I haven't contacted. I got Jaya in it. I'm not joking. Like, I'm dead serious. Because Trinace was, Trinace, go ahead and tell her. Go, go ahead and tell her, No, 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 go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell her what you asked me to do for you. Nah, you muted. Just, just, just back me up real quick. You muted. And I don't want to hear that side effect stuff. I don't want you to be humble. Tell them what you asked me to do for you. Okay, so it's been a lot because you know it's been a lot. Fair enough. Um, so I've been on these um eight o'clock calls because I'm on the mail. So hey, yay for the mail. Um, so based on our conversations, I do believe that I'm gonna have a husband, but apparently there are certain things that I do that won't allow my husband to find me. Um, so I asked directly, um, what can I do to reprogram um, whatever that thing is? Here I was not thinking that it was anything, but seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, my mic is supposed to be muted when I laugh. Go ahead. Um, so today we had a conversation we had one three days ago. I told you, I'll do it for you if you let me what? Record it. There you go. I said, I'll do it for you if you let me record it. I said, I'm oh, sure. I'll get your husband if you let me record it. Ain't just, that what I said? Yeah, you did. But to me, the husband is just like a remnant of everything else. That sounds like an alpha woman if I ever heard one. No, I'm, no, I'm just saying... That sounds like an alpha. That sounds like Kim. That sounds like a Donia. That's something. So, so this is this is why I say that. Talk to you, boy. Because you know we talked about that her hypergamy class that I took. That's right. And I don't necessarily agree with uh, some things that she say. I agree with some of the things, but we not in alignment on a lot of things because her training is basically how to get men to give you stuff, and men will give you stuff. You're going to have to pay for it one way or the other. Fair enough. Um, so that part is not in alignment with me. But what is what, what I told her is what she was talking about, uh, mindset, alignment, and um, proximity, those are things that you need in life. And yeah. that's life. That's how you get things in life. And as you get things in life, the man will be an addition to that. He'll be a remnant of you getting your mindset right. Okay. You Hold on, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. How many alpha men you know that let you interrupt them? Is there anybody who knows an alpha male who lets you, you interrupt them? Is there anybody? Like this, I'm okay with pushback. I just genuinely need to know if there's somebody in these 20 squares that know a single alpha male that lets you interrupt them. I know an alpha male. We were married. We're divorced now. Okay, then. So is there a, anybody? In, I'm going to do it again. Is there anybody on these 20 squares that lets an alpha, you interrupt your alpha male and you can get away with it without narcissistic i'm gonna turn it around on you miss and everything mm -hmm. else that comes with that you let me do it i try yeah. not to but you have let me do it true i'm something different i, I did kind of wait at the end but <laughs> this time but i was going to and i said don't do it but you you let me not intentional i just get excited if i don't say what i want to say then sometimes i'll lose my thought that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't, try to, I, and I don't mean to be rude. No, you're not being rude at all. I'm a sigma male. I'm not an alpha male. Keep going. Too. I, I don't 
Thank you very much. You, you, uh, we're going we gonna to finish the 13 minute video and bless y'all. I'm a so single. I, do we get to debate that? We absolutely get to debate Jenny, that. Jenny, let's debate that. You're, you're a sigma? A sigma is an alpha X exponential. Deanna, you you got to have a private phone. A, yeah, a sigma is an alpha, but stronger than an alpha. We'll get there. It makes sense. Mm. It makes sense. It makes to complete who? sense. I need to, to see who? the video. Deanna, we need We're going to see the video. We're going to see the video. Don't worry about it. I'm not, a, I'm not an alpha male. I don't care. First off, remember, y'all see me on this call and I have to talk. Outside this call, I don't say a single word. I have to remind my kids to like give me hugs. I don't say a word. I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't say a single word. But I can assure you, Monique would not have given me three kids if she couldn't interrupt me because this motor scooter is a feminist's feminist. You know you is. Don't even play. So, okay, she just she just gave me that 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 feminist look. Sigma, the only people who follow me are Sigmas. Nobody else. Keep going, Janice. I don't think that that that's um a feminist thought process. What I do think is it's um understanding of what being in alignment is having the right mindset is and being in proximity because like you talked about this morning, you can only have one experience. So if your experience is in alignment with happiness, we'll go with something simple, happiness. Right. Then everything that you're going to do is going to be happiness and all of the other stuff that you attract because you're attracting that's going to be happy too so the same thing with a man he's just a bonus to whatever that experience that you're living that, first off every single thing you said was from a feminist perspective you sound like a feminist the cool thing is you're absolutely also right but i just need you to know that to even say the braggadocious and ballsy thing that you said only a feminist can say that only a feminist can stand in front of a man like me disagree and be right that's only a feminist that can do that the feminist movement is one of the greatest things to ever happen on the planet earth and thank god for it but i need you to know although you try not to be a feminist that was very fucking feminist of you That's the wonderful thing about this planet. See, here's the deal. I didn't say she was wrong. See how some of y'all are offended? I literally complimented her the whole time. I got you, Talisha. I genuinely complimented her the whole time. Jay, I, I complimented the entire feminist movement. I genuinely made me look bad why I said it and cussed an F-bomb in front of my kids and some of you motor scooters still had a problem with it. Congratulations, you're a fucking feminist. That's exactly why you had a problem. While complimenting a feminist, I was still wrong. Congratulations. Luckily for me, I don't give a fuck. So the other part of that Go ahead. is when I marry wealthy, because I am, when I marry wealthy, mm -hmm. I'm going to take his money and he's going to be willing to give it to me because his trade-off is peace. Okay. That's why you need to watch the rest of this video. That's exactly why you need to watch the rest of this video. Talisha, go ahead. <clears throat> so, Jen, man, portray or... Oh my God. Need more than one of those because I'm no. just saying. No. Okay. Because no. my ex was very quiet. He was a quiet person. Okay. Stop Yet right if I. Oh, stop. Just, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Can, can I be gay and straight? Nowadays you can. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 
That's why they got alphabets. I need to stay my ass in one of these alphabets. Was that not? It is L. If I'm lesbian, I need to be lesbian. If I'm gay, I need to be gay. If I'm bi, I need to stay bi. But I can't be a stud and be pregnant. That's, I don't care what y'all say about the brat. I love the brat. You're not allowed to be stud and be pregnant. Apparently, you are a lot. Okay. Here's the deal. Then the brat is no longer lesbian. She's a different alphabet. That's not me saying that. I, you know what? Any that's fair, hard that's fair because we was, we was raised in the same neighborhood. No, no. I'm not even trying to say that. Thank you so much, though. But I'm not even trying to say that. What that's I'm fair. trying to say is... The alphabets exist for a reason. I'm not disagreeing with you, Damali. I'm just saying that I can't be heterosexual and taking it in the booty on the down low. That's not possible. And if you agree with that as a man, you're going to have to agree with that as a woman who is pregnant, who is a lesbian. You just going to have to agree with that or you have a double standard that you need to agree with yourself. I'm not telling you the brat. I did not say the brat is wrong. I said the brat is no longer a stud. She is a femme. So that's L B G T Q I A plus, and there's a F in that plus. That means femme. She is no longer lesbian. And any self-respecting, I will deal with my alphabetness agrees with me because i'm not learning this from myself i am an ally and i'm telling you what they say and if you are a stud you don't hide your studness well that's actually not fair I, I retract that because america is stupid so we'll just get rid of that that's not actually fair i i, I turn it away diana pull that video back up Y'all need to listen to the rest of this. Talisha, you are very next. And I want to hear about your husband and his quietness X, after X, we finish this. X. I'm sorry. My bad. I do that. You know, you know I'm a man and I'm ignorant, right? That's my fault. She said X. Did you hear her say X, X, X? Y, Z. That's what she said. Okay, hit play. In the spotlight, unless they truly want to be there but they often find themselves observing other people instead of taking center stage. Women are tired of arrogant, overly confident alpha men who put themselves above everyone else. They are drawn to the quiet confidence and poise of a Sigma male who is respected and admired by others without needing to scream it from the rooftops. Number two. Why are you not investing in tax liens? No, seriously. Why are you not investing into one of the most yeah, they don't play by the rules. Number two was they don't play by her rules. Keep going. Sigma males don't care what people think of them, and they answer to no one but themselves. The way they act, dress, and talk will often amaze people used to more alpha and beta men. They won't walk around on eggshells trying not to upset her. They're not afraid to call her out when she lies. They don't fear judgment or approval from her. This makes them more attractive to women since many men actually want to find someone who can stand up to them. A Sigma male doesn't play by society's rules and instead chooses his own path in life. He is not swayed by social expectations or pressures, which can make him intimidating but also alluring to women. Sigmas also have high standards when it comes to women. They don't just date any woman who crosses their paths. They're very selective about the women they choose to be with, making them much more attractive than the nice guys. Nice guys will date anything, but Sigma males will only date women who meet their specific criteria. This is why Sigmas are often seen as cold and unapproachable when they are just highly selective about who they spend time and energy with. Number three, their inner calm is like an aphrodisiac. This inner calm is so alluring to women because it feels like a balm that can soothe any stressful situation. Women find this kind of strength and stability appealing in men, especially when things get tough. 
It's nice to be around someone who can stay cool and collected even when things are going crazy. Many women are attracted to this kind of inner peace as it helps them feel grounded and balanced. While women are naturally more emotional than men, they don't always respond well to dramatic energy and need someone who can stay calm during times of pressure. This inner calm is an aphrodisiac that leaves women feeling relaxed and open to intimacy. Having this kind of inner strength will always make you more attractive to women, no matter what your cultural standing or social status. Not only is the Sigma male's inner calm an aphrodisiac, but it also helps to balance out the hectic nature of their everyday lives. We live in a society where the chaos and stress never seem to end, and having someone who can help keep you grounded is invaluable. Number 4. They are not scared to cross the friend zone barrier. Sigma males are not afraid to cross the friend zone barrier and take things to a romantic level. While many men avoid this because they fear rejection, Sigmas move forward because they've already spot-checked her attraction. Her body language has been signaling interest the whole time, and they act on it. They don't sit around waiting for things to go their way. They work hard to get the things they want. If that means stepping out of their comfort zone to get there, then so be it. A Sigma knows how to read subtle signals from women. While many women don't dare to make the first move even if they are interested in a man, Sigmas don't hesitate and cross into the relationship territory. Instead of wasting time and energy on small talk and texting for weeks, Sigmas move things forward to the next level. They don't see crossing the friend zone as an unappealing action that could lead to rejection and heartbreak, but instead as an opportunity to test the waters and deepen their connection with her. Women are attracted to the Sigma, but that doesn't mean he won't make any effort if he finds the right woman. Number 5. They have a masculine presence. These men have an aura that just screams masculinity, making them very approachable and attractive at the same time. Whether it's their mannerisms or their body language, you can tell that these men have a strong male presence. They seem more comfortable in their own skin and are always aware of their power. While other men may be more shy or timid, Sigma males have no problem taking control and making decisions. Having a masculine presence doesn't mean that these men are aggressive or domineering. People are used to associating masculinity with these traits, but that's not always the case. In fact, most women prefer a more gentle, caring type of masculinity in men. I'm not talking about the girls will like you sort of thing. I'm talking about being an intelligent male who knows how to stand up for his beliefs without being overbearing. Number 6. They have a mysterious appeal that keeps women intrigued. Have you ever noticed that Sigma males always seem to have a bit of mystery around them? There's just something about them that is hard to put your finger on, which makes women want to know more. This intrigue adds an extra layer of excitement and allure to these men, making it difficult for some women to resist the attraction. Of course, this doesn't mean they are hiding something or acting shady. Most Sigma males don't have anything to hide. It just means that they don't put all their cards on the table right away, which can be very appealing to many women who like to take their time when getting to know someone. Being mysterious doesn't mean you're closed off or secretive. It simply means that you don't reveal everything about yourself at once. Women tend to be more drawn to men who have a little bit of intrigue and excitement, so it's no wonder that Sigma males are some of the most sought-after men out there. Number 7. When there's nothing holding you back, what would your thing be? They don't apologize for who they are or what they do. They have total confidence in their abilities and don't make excuses for themselves or try to justify their actions. One of the key traits of a Sigma male is that he doesn't care what people think of him. Sigma men only apologize to themselves. There are no apologies for who they are or what they do. They understand that they will be disliked for their out-of-the-box thinking and different approach to life. 
so they don't waste one second of their time trying to gain favor with people who don't matter. They don't apologize for not conforming to the status quo or for not following the crowd. Sigmas are strong, independent characters who blaze their own trail and aren't afraid to be judged for it. While other men might spend their time trying to impress women, Sigmas would rather focus on being the best version of themselves. Instead of trying to be someone they're not or doing things just because other people think it's necessary, they do what makes them happy, and this is what gains respect from others. Number 8. They are strong and silent. One of the things that attract women to Sigma males is their intelligent silence. Women are drawn to men who can protect and provide for them. And the Sigma man has both qualities. Plus, the silent type is always appealing to women. When a man doesn't need to talk constantly, it shows confidence, which is a major turn-on for women. Sigma males don't need to be the center of attention. They often shy away from it. This is a stark contrast to many men who are always vying for women's attention. The Sigma man is comfortable in his own company, which is an attractive trait that is tough to find. Women love men who are relaxed enough with themselves that they don't need to fill every moment of silence with unnecessary noise. When a man doesn't feel the need to talk constantly, it really makes him stand out from the rest because he only speaks when he has something important or interesting to say. Number 9. They challenge her mind. A Sigma male can challenge a woman mentally, intellectually, and emotionally because they are intelligent, confident, and have strong opinions that aren't based on fear or social conditioning. An alpha male knows what he wants and goes for it, which is a problem if the woman isn't on the same page as him. A Sigma male doesn't play by society's rules and instead takes his life into his own hands and chases after what makes him happy in life, leaving nothing to chance or fate. This powerful mindset is intoxicating for women sick of being strung by males who have no idea what they want out of life. A Sigma male doesn't have to chase after women. They are the ones pursuing him. He can provide her with something she lacks in life. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. These men are... Stop right there. How many of you on another class have heard me teach my boys? Do this so you don't have to chase women. My boys are Sigma males. I they are awkward as hell. You heard me say it. They are very I've awkward. heard you say it for sure. They act just like they damn daddy. They are awkward. Because they don't need to prove themselves. They mama gave birth to two little Antonios. God bless her and them. God bless the world. You, you got three Antonios out here. It's your fault. If the world in, it's your fault. It's your fault. Three Antonios is too much. That's your fault. Okay? There's more. Forget all that. If Jeff J is too stupid. Okay. <laughs> I got a message from her. Too funny. <clears throat> when it's red, I'm not supposed to read it aloud. I got that. I'm growing. I'm growing. Too funny. Okay. Too funny. She is too funny. All right. This more. Five more. There's not a feminist, an alpha male, an alpha woman on this call that wasn't attracted to that man that was just described. If you say you not, you use a lie. Because every woman who follows me is Kim. Congratulations, Kim. I see in the chat you got engaged. I, I didn't see your posts, but I see the responses. Can y'all unmute your mic and clap for Kim get with her signal now? Because yeah. I, I, I know damn well he's a signal male. I know that for sure. Yeah, I was, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You go, go ahead and explain so we get Talisha. Because I know damn well. Because you, Use a knucklehead. And I know the only woman, mm. the only man who can handle a trenace is a damn Sigma male. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Give us some examples. Since you about to be a wife, talk to us a little bit and then we'll let Talisha go. Well, when they talked about, because he's somewhat 
he's not a loner, but he's somewhat of, of a loner. Uh, he doesn't talk a lot. Like when he got something to say, he'll say it. And when he uh, said, you better motherfucker, excuse me, you better motor scoot and listen because he don't say nothing <laughs> unless you don't went too damn far. And I do. I'm a, I'm Kim, so I'm going to say and do Thank what you, Kim do. But I like the fact that he don't just let me, I ain't going to say he don't let me, but he don't let me just say and do. You know, I, I know how not to as a, as a As a feminist, you had to say that. As an African woman, you had to say right, that. Exactly. Trust me, exactly. he's letting yeah. you. But that's, you keep on going, though. You keep yeah, on but going. I, but it's just like, and it's, 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 a, it's really like a perfect match. So, yeah. But when he was going over, I was like, okay, he does that. He does that. Uh, it doesn't need to be the in the middle. Doesn't need to have the attention. He's more in the background. So like when I'm doing my events and stuff, he's like in the background, just helping whatever I need. He'll just do it. Um, so yeah, yeah, that was describing him. Yeah, yeah. This my company got my initials. I ain't even the center of it. I put Grace and Deanna on. I don't give a <laughs> y'all ain't bothering me. You in I don't give a damn about none of y'all, but I love you so much though. It's both and it's very much so both and it's very much so. Sigma men are very different and a feminist woman. So when so here's what happened today. Talisha, 60 seconds, you up. So start thinking about stuff you're gonna say. I told Trinace, I I do it. And then here's the deal. I can't teach Trinace how to get a husband. But this is what I told myself. I told Deanna this and I told somebody else. I said, I'm going to have Grace in the class. I'm going to have Trinace in the class. I'm going to have Chef Jay in the class. There was one more. Miss Adonia? Adonia. Uh, her ass should have been at first. Oh, you her after me. Like, uh, 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 my bad. My bad. Well, you know what? I'm, just I'm, because just because I'm not on camera, I'm walking to my car. Don't mean okay. you got to act up. So well, you're like, right. Because you're you should have been at the top of the list. You hear me? You, you should have been at the very top of the list. <laughs> you should have been first on the list. Uh, don't you first? And of, of course, because and the reason being is the simplicity that I know I'm sick of men telling women how to get a husband. I'm sick of men telling women how to be a woman. Didn't I just say that the other day? Oh, well, you, you, yes. hey. you ain't never birth no baby. You can't tell me how to be. Sir. Enough. What I know I can do, Tracy, is I can tell you, Tracy, with your feminine, you are a super feminist. You hear me? And your daughter's a feminist and you raised her to be one. What I can tell you is, I can tell you, here's what a Sigma man is, and here's how you attract that man. That I can tell you. And I can say that with confidence because every woman on this call, y'all are something else. And you need a man that's gonna ignore half the sh that come out your mouth. Let the word of God say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and okay. amen. <laughs> okay. You don't you don't need you see you don't need to say something and I get offended. See, y'all not paying attention. Some of y'all paying attention. Some, some of you aware feminists, y'all paying attention. The rest of y'all, you offended by everything I'm saying. That's because you can't, you don't even qualify to be with somebody like me because you're too stuck in your calcified thinking. But I'm telling you that Phil, and I don't care what, you, I don't care, whatever y'all think about Phil, Phil is ignoring half the shit that comes out of Susan's mouth. I'm not supposed to say that on his behalf. I'm wrong for saying it in the first place, but I can assure you, Phil is thinking more about flow. And every now and then, Phil got to say, that's okay, baby. I'll do it for you. I just can't do this particular thing with you. Don't worry about it. That's a Sigma male. 
Jerome, they didn't hear me, but you you and I both know sometimes a man has to say, you know what, you on that boot right now. That's all right. That's all right, baby. Go watch your little TV show. I'm going to do this for you because I damn sure can't do it with you. And don't hold that against you. Sigma males are very different. They are the alpha's alpha. If you ever want to see who is a Sigma male, put two alpha men together and see which one of them don't open their mouth and intimidate everybody in the room. There's your Sigma. Anywho, I gotta be quiet. Talisha, teach us something because you as a woman, thou art roar and you're smart. Go ahead. I actually um oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Talisha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just found out that one of our esteemed members. I'm going to just go ahead and say, I'm not my to say it out loud, but it's Grace. Grace say her daddy is a Sigma male. He the same doggone way. Yeah. Because Grace's daddy is married to an alpha woman who got her stuff together, highly intelligent. She don't take no blank, but she listened to her husband because her husband ain't trying to run his wife. Her husband is so powerful he just runs stuff. You understand? Ain't no woman submitting to no man she can't follow. I'm sorry, Talisha. Just 30 more seconds. Let me just press this point one more time. Ain't no woman submitting to some man that's going to lead her into poverty. Excuse me. Ain't no feminist alpha woman that's going to submit to some man who don't qualify to be submitted to. I'm part. Thank you. Thank you, Talisha. And as much as you think he needs a You just line. won my attention. You, okay. got, you won. You just won. You just thank won. You. Thank, I you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adalia. Let me tell you something. You can say he need a prayer life. Y'all lying. That's just what y'all think he need because somebody told you that. What he need is to be able to put up with the worst of you without being offended. That's for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trinae, because I was going to actually get an amen. All right. Amen. I'm opening my mind. I ain't talked all night. <laughs> okay. My you go. The t- Talisha, you just jump right in after her. This is divine because she never sitting here with me during this call. Your and daughter? She is Your right daughter there? And she is nodding and she is no weakness. So, you know what? Give her this call information from now on. She can jump on this call. When she out in Washington, D.C., she can jump on this call anytime. But keep going, though. Keep going. No, no, no. It, which, this is the question she said. Okay. She asked this question. She said, Do you think, because I'm gonna put your business out there. Do you think a sigma a sigma man could try to act like an alpha man, which no, makes them unattractive? You have to finish. A sigma would never. A sigma would never. So let me let me let me break down what a sigma man is to y'all in lamest terms. This is a man who has no time to impress you. This man is not given a blank about trends or impressions. You could try, you could try all you want you to get his money. This is why I brought this up. Because Trinae's is like, I'm gonna get his money. That's what this is why I brought this up. You can't get a Sigma man money. First off, he already wanna give it to you. But what he not gonna do is let you get it from him because you think you're manipulating him. Under no circumstances can you manipulate. You can't. Let me. Let me just. Just no disrespect. No, no disrespect to Monique. Everybody, listen to me. You can't fucking put me in the friend zone. Let me, no, 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 no. My boys, is y'all listen to me? My, my. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. I just want to hug. I'm about, I'm about to. Your daddy about to be too real. Come here, baby. I just want to hug. I, I need some of this. Come here. I need some of this air and energy. There you go. There you go, baby. Okay. There you go. I need some of that. I'm about to say too much. I needed some of her energy. She acts just like a mama. She looks just like a mama. You can't put me in the friend zone. You can't tell me what to do. First of all, 
I don't need you. Which, by coincidence, turns the feminist alpha woman on. I'll wait. I'll wait. Mike, check. Uh, Tracy, check with your daughter. Make sure I'm right. Check with your daughter. Check with your daughter. Check. I'm not even looking at the camera. Mike, check. Daughter, check. Daughter, check. One, two. Daughter, check. One, two. One, two, three. Ain't no, ain't no Trinity. I believe that's that's her daughter name. Trinity ain't looking for no man to need her. And I don't give a blank about impressing her. So for a Sigma to act like an Alpha is a downgrade. That's like a wife acting like a sad chick. Is it is it still on, Renee? Is it is it still on? Let me tell y'all something. I don't know what more nigga thinking of here, but she ain't gonna act like no side chick. I guarantee you that right now. I guarantee that shit. I don't know. What to, if you need the mic. If she, if you need the mic. <laughs> she pushed the mic away from me. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I can start liking side chicks all of a sudden. She ain't gonna act like when I know that much. Talisha, come on and save me because I'm being ratchet right now. And I do apologize. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't even know to say nothing. What you said the first time about. Uh oh, did she freeze or is that me? It was... Oh, there you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So I was saying um, the power you were stating that we, the stuff that we're not going to fall for. That part right there was just like, yeah, that's it. Because for for you, the last thing I was gonna tell you, he acts like a sigma, right? But then, because he's very soft, no talk. But I then do. I thought he was just being sneaky. Well, yeah, but was, like the yeah. rest of those two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, eight imply to him, because you cannot fool an alpha woman. An alpha woman is an alpha woman because her ass got food. Is this? Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, let me know. If you are an alpha woman who ain't taking no more blank, no more, is it because, or also because, because I don't want to offend you, you said she is not no more. I'm not going to be fooled again. I got my hand up first. I'm not a woman, but I got my hand up first. Is it? You is got it? it. You okay. hit the button. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to believe you now. Okay. I'm starting to okay. believe you. Okay. okay. Keep going, Talisha. Because you, you ain't not, Talisha just got divorced. You're not for the fool. To, Talisha is not for to be fooled into a second toxic marriage. Talisha, am I lying? No. You can I see him a mile away, huh? <laughs> I do. Oh, you look good. How many, how many compliments you get a day? I haven't had that in a while because I keep myself to myself. <laughs> but how many people but, in your inbox waiting for you to holler at them? Just give me a rough number. Honestly, because I don't even be on my inbox like that. That's okay, because because they get on your damn nerves. <laughs> Just give me a rough number to the best of your capability. I honestly don't have a number. I don't even look. Antonio, I'm so like done with me. I don't even look their way. That's because I'm sick they, and tired of their BS. You hear me? You act like a don't. This is why a don't is single by choice. You are literally single by choice. You just a younger version of Adonia and Kim before she got to get, and Kim, Kim, Kim didn't wait on her husband. Kim said, F all of y'all until one of y'all apply the proper amount of pressure to get my attention. These are two different motives. Kim didn't say, I'm gonna be single because I'm single by choice. That's something she said to these low level awareness women. Kim said, my golden box is valuable and they make toys for that so what i'm not gonna do is get into another toxic one you hear me kim can you back me up yes sir all thank day long so thank you all so much talisha how much do you agree with what i just said all of it 100%. thank you so much thank, thank you so much little adonia keep going keep 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 on going um so no that that was I, honestly that was it. Um, my brother had just told me he's like Tulisha. I was driving back from Louisiana. He's like Tulisha, you need to start dating. I said for what? 
<laughs> what am I dating for? He was just like, you and the feminist would say, and I love it. He told me, he was like, Felicia, you're in the greatest uh, state where so many possibilities out there compared to Louisiana. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not looking. I'm, I'm happy with just me and my daughter right now. I said, I just got out of this. And I said, I may be like this for a while. When I said, wow, well, maybe in my 50s, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not interested. I just, it don't. And like you, like you said, it doesn't, like, it's a turnoff. It's a big turnoff when I got to tell you what to do and how to do it. Or when you're being too much. Y'all know what I mean when, when men can be too much at times. Alpha men are too much. Turn off. Alpha men. See, I'm too much because I don't give them. Alpha men are too much because they need to be. These are two different motivations. Let me, Talisha, just, is y'all listening to me? May, may I help y'all? I am honest, but not because I'm honest. I am honest because I don't give them. I'm going to do it again, Chef Jay. Few people don't get it. Monique don't think I'm honest. Monique, no, I don't give a fuck. Is it? Let me put the mic on you again, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Okay, thank you so much. I sure appreciate you. I hear it say absolutely. Did, did, did you hear? I got her sad. What you think? I, let me do it again. Jerome. Four time, a few more people will get it. Romantic. I'm a provider that don't give a damn what your family think about my provisions. I will lose this house, three houses, 12 houses from now, just to win 12 days from now. I don't care what you think. Because my confidence is not wrapped up in your opinion or your religion or your damn pastor. My confidence is tied up into shit I was born with. I didn't even have to get here, Trinace. I was here at two years old. I'm not telling you I'm good, Chef J. I'm telling you I am a dog piece of manure. But if you get me, baby, you're blessed for life. You understand? You missed it. Rewind. Press play. An alpha male needs to drive a big car. Big truck. I, I need real estate paying me cash flow monthly, every month, without nobody knowing. An alpha male needs to drive. I, I will wear the same T-shirt 22 days in a row. You better be glad I don't smell like a double whopper with extra onions. At least I took a bath. Because I'm not about to spend money that don't make me no money. You know who else was a Sigma male? Adonia's daddy. Let me help y'all out. Every morning I get up, I sh I, kids, boys, I'm going to say it the way I feel. I shit you not. Every morning I get up, I check my bank account. I don't care if it's low. I don't care if it's high. I check my bank account for two reasons. Would y'all like to know these two reasons? I want to see my value on this planet. And I want to see why the fuck that money is in my bank account. It needs to be gone into an investment account, a real estate property or something. You're not hearing me. You, you, you're just not hearing me. We're just not on the same page. John Cena said, you can't see me. First off, I shouldn't be able to check no money in my bank account. It ought to be in a real estate deal. How dare me not have a real estate deal on the table? And every day I don't have a real estate deal on the table, I get pissed off. That ain't got nothing to do with Monique. That ain't got nothing to do with my kids. That ain't got nothing to do with Talisha. That ain't got nothing to do with Deanna. That has everything to do with me. I'm not honest. I'm arrogantly arrogant. Thank God for the Holy Spirit, because I am a bugaboo. And too much. You hear me, Kim? 
but your hood, your, if your fiance act just like me, tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait. Help, help these, help these unmarried people out, Kim. You be doing a little extra, so he ain't quite like you. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, you, you understand. Well, yeah, y'all do have some of the same character. You he went to the trash can, so you know I got a little extra because of the trash can. But Jerome <laughs> act like me. Phil act like me. This how we all act. Yeah, she's Charlie Brown. And then finally, Phil go that the right, that's enough. That's it. It's not, it's not a conversation. All right, Jerome go, all right, that's enough. It's not a conversation no more. That doesn't mean that's not Jerome running nothing. That's not Antonio running nothing. That's not Phil running nothing. That's just a full understanding, Chef Jay. You fooling with a motor scooter who said what he said, and you got enough proof that you know don't bark up that you went your ass went too far. How about that, ladies? Do you got so you got somebody who know you went too far? It's okay, you can raise your hand. No, no, raise that, raise your hand. Is, is anybody who know? Yeah, yeah, I went too damn far. That's not that's Deacon Esser Sandals. That's that's somebody who can handle Adonia. Everybody can't handle Adonia because Adonia has opinions and she's passionate about those opinions. And you know what? She's going to say them opinions whether you can handle it or not. And only, Deanna, pull up my personality profile. And only, and only a certain person can say, you write it down you. Nah, you want to eat? You missed it. I'll rewind and press play. But, 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 Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk I would say it nicely. I, I, I'm not, I do not do no, arrogance. That's, that's, like, right, that's, right, anyway. that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But I will stop talking to you. I would rather shut up and say nothing than have a blown out, drop down argument. I'm not arguing with you. I'm going to walk away, go away, leave me be. And if you want to talk, then come back and talk civil. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. Sound like you, Monique. I think she described you. Yeah, you, she talking about you. I mean, that's it. That, that, I, I just feel like anybody who sounds like I don't you with, girl, you show right me too, because he get on it. Makes sense. Yes, my per yeah, yes, that personality profile. Hear me well. A sigma male is very rare, Melissa. And I wish that they would give me a national microphone at the White House or something so I could say, women, forget this vote stuff. Let me help y'all out. You want your marriage to last? Uh, Jay is out there. I'm going to need you to get your signal, man. Can't nobody handle it. First off, you can't handle Chef J. Let me tell you why you can't handle Chef J. I, I, I need a note. Melissa, do you mind? Do you mind typing? Are you on your computer? I am here. Okay, thank you so much. If you mind, do you mind? Because I got her pull up a video. Do you mind typing in the chat some key things that I say about Chef J, which apply? And I'm only going to say key things that apply to the Melissa's on this call. That's all I'm going to say. Is that okay? Go ahead. All right, then. Thank you so much. You can't date Chef J or get over old Chef J. You know why bulletin points happen now? Because Chef J, excuse me, I'm, I'm flipping to the man. The man who is dating Chef J no, no, let me, let me let me flip it. Let me flip it to the woman, Chef J. I mean, listen, Chef J is ignorant, no offense to you, and not ignorant at the same time. I'm not done. No, please put that. Don't worry about it. You type it, I take the heat for it. Chef J is humble and not humble at the same time. 
Chef J is loving and don't want to be married at the same time. I wish I had somebody that could just testify to this. I just I just need one person that can admit. Thank you so much, Chef J. I want marriage at the same time. You know what? Uh, I don't think I want marriage. You know? <laughs> it's 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 this. <sighs> Okay, that's the three things about Chef J. You can hit in on that. Let me tell you what a Sigma male subconscious, because that's what we're talking about, thinks about Chef J. I'm oh, sorry, not a Sigma male. Let me tell you what another male <clears throat> thinks about Chef J. See, I don't know if y'all know. My Chef J, she's got the 34, what they say, Jordan? like 34, 26, 34 or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. It was on like USA TV or something. You, you know what I'm talking about, 24, 36. I don't know. You, you know what I'm talking about, though. The Coke bottle, all the stuff. All right, you get it. House. It's a, it's a winning hand. It's a winning hand. There you go. Brick house. You're right. You're right. She's a brick house. She's a brick house. Now, here's the deal. The problem with being a brick house is y'all meet B A N S. I'll just wait for that to translate to my non hood folk. You from 4300 block. You know what the B A N is. Hey, I'm looking at you. Okay. <laughs> All right, <then. laughs> When you get. What is it? B A E. Um, Every God. single word is a cuss word. Yeah. Every single word. Okay, there you <laughs> go, right there. Whoever posted that right there, that's what it means <laughs> in the chat. Okay. But you can't get you a Talisha who look like Talisha. So you can't see if you can't handle a sexy woman, you shouldn't be with a sexy woman. I'm trying to close this call out in seven minutes. It's the more non-resistant y'all are, the more we can get off this call. You can't. See, you met Monique in the club. Now you don't want her to go to the club. <clears throat> you met Adonia making 300000 a year. Now you're mad that she made 300000 a year. Who know what I'm talking about? If, if you don't understand what I'm saying, how many of you smart, intelligent, well-to-do women can find a man? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me how hard that is. I need I need a woman to tell me how hard that is. is it, find one. It's easy to find one, two, or three. It's just the right one. Okay, fair enough. You're right, because they're all in your inbox. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me rephrase that question. You show right, Kim. You show right. As long as you got breast, you can find a man. You sure don't even need none. You, the you, thirst you, is real, Antonio. It is real. As long as you have est you know what? As long as you alive, you so, can find you somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody in your inbox. Yes. You show sure right. Yes. You show sure right. Yes. How many of you ladies who got it together doing your thing, don't need a man, can find a man that you that can hold your attention and your interest? There we go. There we go. There we go. That went down from 100 to zero real fast. Uh, I can think of one. <laughs> well, fair enough, because you're married. You understand? All right. So that went down from 100 to 0 0.1 since Renee said something. You understand? All right. Here's the deal. If you go going to get you a Monique, you got to be able to handle a Monique. If you're gonna get you a Trinace, you gotta be able to handle it. Can you handle it when Trinace cuss your motor scooting blank out? You didn't hear me? It's just, it's just, can you handle it? Can you separate the fact when they don't, when they hate your mother, but love you at the same time? Can you handle that? That ain't no alpha stuff. Y'all think Otis out here being married sensitive? Is you is you is you is it, I not? did that for years, man. That ain't no big deal. <laughs> that's a whole different story. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a whole different that was some beta male stuff. That's a whole different story. I can assure you 
that Otis and Jerome and Phil ignore half the stuff that come out their wives' mouth. They can't say it because, you know, that's inappropriate to say. And I don't mean ignore in the bad way. I mean, all right, baby, I hear you. You hungry? Because you can't get along with somebody offended. Chef J, I'm just talking to you. Everybody eavesdropping. Chef J, I don't know what you like, who you like. All I know is use a handful. I don't give a damn what you say. Yeah, okay. She did she nod her head. Um, you know what? Go ahead, unmute your mic, Chef J, just so they can know that you you you, you agreeing with me. Come on a lot. I, I am a lot. And I, I don't mind. So I, I am a lot. We all a lot. So whoever deal with me is going to have to be equipped for me because I'm a lot. I'm a handful. Oh, true. And all the feminists said amen. Yes, yes. And I, <laughs> I, don't, I think you got If I ever amen. heard a 100% agreement argument, <laughs> you just yes, came you know, with you. Amen. <laughs> you just came with She just, whoever, I am a lot. I ain't trying to change. I ain't gonna change. It is what it is. Whoever gonna deal with me gonna be equipped for me. And all the women on the call were like, you show sure right, girl. You better preach in this place. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But what I'm trying to tell you is, as we conclude this call, that's why you retrain your subconscious. Because you don't have to be a Sigma male to deal with Chef J. You got to be a healed male to deal with Chef J and that Tracy, both Tracy's was the entire point of my call. Now we talk. Don't get with Trinity if you're not healed. My mama taught her better. You hear me? I'm not saying, see, my only, <clears throat> me and Monique's job is very soon. We got two, well, we got three jobs. Well, Monique got two jobs. I got three jobs. Hey, Monique got three jobs. I got four jobs. Me and Monique job number one, make sure these boys and this girl get out this house with no childhood trauma. Can I get a witness? <clears throat> they need to get out this house. With no childhood trauma. Do you agree? I know. Can't hear you. I agree. There you go. She she ain't got no voice. So she never has a voice. She's she's that's her disability. She ain't got no voice. <laughs> Nevertheless, that's number one. Number two, me and Monique's job is to make sure that these boys and this girl ain't got to look up. To one of y'all funky ass kids. Can I get a witness? All right, then there you go. There you go. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. I don't care what I don't care what Tracy teaching her child. I bet she taught her that. She may not say it on the microphone, but I bet she taught her that. Number one, don't go out here with no childhood trauma. That's our fault. My bad. We're gonna we're gonna correct that. Number two. Whatever you one of your little funky children can do, we did that for. Them. We baked them pies. We cooked them cakes. Same thing, baked them cakes. We cooked that chicken. We bought. We took them to France before you did. Can I get a witness? Is this okay? You're not for the syrup and impress my little girl. Her daddy did that. Impress her with your worship. I thought I had some feminists on this call. Oppress her with your prayer life. Oppress her with your worship. I know that's right. Okay, thank you so much. Because I thought I had some feminists on here. I don't know what's going on. Oppress her with your healing. Don't oppress her with what you can do. You can't buy my daughter. No more than you can buy Donya. Donya, can we buy you little mama? Look at it. Now, come on, you know, you know, I'm, you, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you, you know, I'm, I'm even trying to wonder why you would ask such a question because you do you not hear the attitude? Just 
just in that clip, the tone. Really? Really? Okay. And you can't impress Adonia because her daddy, her daddy may not have gotten all the dots crossed, but her daddy taught her, baby. But I don't want to be impressed. I, I, I right. want to be impressive. I don't want. I don't want to impress you. If you see something that impresses you, thank you. But I'm not trying to impress you. What you see is what you get. It works or it doesn't work. I don't have the patience. To, I'm there begging. I'm not begging. I don't want to argue. I don't. I just don't. Sorry. And may Aaron Dolores Smith say the same thing. Dolores, I know that's an old name, but she named that her nana. That's an old name, though. That's an old name. I did do it. That's a Dolores is old. They ain't making. They ain't made a new Dolores in two decades. Ain't a and it, Dolores is extinct. That's an extinct name. <clears throat> that's like Etta May and Willie May, and you, you know what I'm talking about. Bobby, Bobby Joan, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <clears throat> Monique's number three grow is to keep our daughter off that pole. Well, I'm not supposed to say that because Chris Rock said it first. Oh, way, so. way, ain't nothing wrong with the pole. That's ain't true. Nothing. nothing wrong with the pole. I respect all you ladies in the pole. I didn't do a couple of dollars at the pole. You're right. I didn't do a couple of dollars at the pole. But Aaron Dolores Smith ain't gonna get her motor scooter herself from the pole. She gonna get on that keyboard and code. Do you hear me? I don't know what the hell she gonna do, but it won't be on the pole. She gonna get on the pole for her husband. All right then. All right then. That's what Talisha's saying. Yeah, she gonna pop it. She gonna pop it right. I ain't gonna like Nam B like this, but she gonna pop it for her husband. But it ain't gonna be for little Jeffrey. Cheating on his wife at the strip club with a little couple of ones. It ain't gonna be that. <clears throat> now the fourth goal is on me. Fourth goal is not on her. My job as a parent is to make sure that all my kids see their father worshiping their mother. Deanna Tommy for 90 seconds. It's time to close the call. Because if I say anything more powerful than that, That's we might start a That's whole 16 week call. That's it. That's it. See, you understand? She got three jobs. I got four. My job is to make sure if I get a car, she get the best one. If I get a house, she get the best one. If I get a piece of biscuit, she get the brightest and softest one. It, it's, 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 it's just not resonating with some of y'all. I, I see it resonating with Chef Jay. But I'm a bar from Jerome. I'm my wife's covering. Does that make sense to you? Covering. That that it's a, it's, it's wrong. Is it still on? Is it? You better say it. That's the facts. Okay. Here's the deal. Listen to me well. Listen to me very well. Very, very, very well. It don't matter how much I mess up, Melissa. It don't matter how sorry I am. It don't matter how many mistakes I made. What matters is how much I worship their mother while I was fucking up. I don't know another one. Is there a better way to say it? Should I say effing up? Is that okay? Let me say effing up, sir, so y'all can get unoffended. It don't matter how much. I was messing up. It don't matter how bad I am. It don't matter how confused I am. As long as my kids see that they dad worship the F of their mama while he was a POS. Because these kids will be great adults if they know they daddy tried failed but respected the black woman i'm sorry i couldn't help myself respected the woman i'm sorry i, I just i couldn't help myself putting that black in there that's my blackness i do apologize and that's it i got about 45 more seconds listen to me with melissa 
would be a trillionaire by now if she was worshipped and respected for the last 20 years. You, you're not hearing me. I'll do it again. Trinace would be a trillionaire right now if she was. How many of you ladies know that the trajectory of your life would have changed if you gave your all to a man or whoever your mate is, whatever gender, and they worshiped you. Even if it didn't work, they still worshiped you. How much childhood trauma your children wouldn't have? That's fair. I don't care what you say. Relationships don't work all the damn time, but worship shouldn't be conditional to a relationship working. I'm almost done, Chef Jay. I'm just trying to push this point. No matter if I had a baby with Chef Jay, that worship should still be there. No matter if I see Chef Jay every two weeks and we swap off our son, Chef Jay shouldn't have to drive to meet me to get my damn son. I should come to her so I can show my son I'm worshiping her. She ain't got to go out into the elements to bring me my damn seed. This is you still at home? This is, you know what? That's my fault. That's my fault for being a direct. Sigma male. That's my fault. You know what? You know what, Adonia? Tracy, I'm too real. Tell Trinity I'm sorry. That that'd be my fault. That'd be my fault. That'd be my fault. But if you're gonna get with a woman, you ought to worship that woman, even after that relationship don't work. Is there a feminist who disagrees? Because I'm very interested. I'm I'm very interested to see. It, okay, so no feminists disagree. Just because my relationship with Stephanie didn't work. Is there a Stephanie on this call? Okay, good. Because I'm about to, me and Stephanie about to do too much. That's why I'm trying to, there's no Stephanie's on this call, right? Okay, good. Because me and Stephanie about to do way too much as we close. Stephanie is my mom name. Holy shit. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, you are her mom. Do I wait? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there it's a, all right. It's all right. Catherine, my my, my, mama, my mama was a on this call. Sometimes, so it's all right. Your mama was a Mac for sure. Yeah, she, she, had, she, she had them H's. You hit them breezies. You feel me? All right. Is there a Catherine on this call? Is anybody in mama named Catherine? I don't care about your 80s. That's different. Unless your 80 raised you. Is there anybody named Catherine on this call? Okay, then. Me and Catherine about to do too much. I done put my little wee wee in Catherine. Catherine and pumped out my little kids. Oh, one. Me and Catherine ain't work out. What the hell that got to do with Catherine queenship? Since when is me and Catherine court custody respected? See, there I go again, Chef J. Since when is Catherine not supposed to be worshipped by a man that she received his seed and bore his child or children. That's the difference between your subconscious mind being trained or not. You know why, Kim? And I am done. Because, Melissa, if I have a baby with you, you are the damn tree. And ain't no sense in the world me going, just give me my daughter. And I respect my fruit that came from you and disrespect the tree in front of the damn fruit. Can somebody tell me what happens to the tree that's planted by the rivers of water? I need a, I, I, this, 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 this ain't for all of y'all. This for like Grace, because Grace was raised right in Jerome. And Tracy, they tell me in some wardrobe, they, they tell me that, you know, blessed is the. I'm not, Deanna, pull it up. Pull up song one. Pull up song. It's got to be King James. Don't you do that. Don't you, don't you, 
do nothing else yes. but King James. I can't. James, please. Uh, it has to Blessed be King the man. James. Blessed. It has to be. Blessed is the man who sinks. We know it. But I need you to pull it up. It has to be King James. It has to be King James. It could be nothing else but King James due to the fact that some stuff, Chef J, should be read in King James. May I read like I'm Baptist, Chef J, do you mind? Okay. Blessed is a man that walking not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the corn, scornful, but his delight. Oh, oh, it's in the law of the Lord. And his law. Oh, doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be blessed like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall profit. Thank you, you may be seated all over this place. For the times I was just said again, I wanna speak with you on the subject, worship thine woman, you got pregnant. Amen. I asked if I could read it like I was Baptist. That's what we do. Ushers, you may be seated all over this place. And then there's an introduction that happens right after that. One more minute, I'm gone. I'm sorry, I went three minutes over. Just one more minute. I don't give a damn how much Kim get on my nerves, how much Chef Jake get on my nerves, how much Monique get on my nerves, how much Deanna get on my nerves, how much Melissa get on my nerves. Melissa is the tree planted by the waters. Pull it back up, Deanna. Just pull it back real, up real quick. It don't just say, Melissa, that the tree is blessed. It says that the leaf that from the tree shall not wither either. I dare you pull it up. i read it again. Verse, verse three. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. Watch this here. That bring it forth fruit. That's my child from Melissa. In his season, that's my child from Melissa. His leaf, that's my child from Melissa, shall also not wither. Stop the damn screen, Deanna. I got about 20 seconds left. Melissa and Talisha are trees that I shall worship. Even if I'm mad at them, I shall worship them. Borrowing from Jerome. Even if years have passed, I should cover them. And under no circumstances, Trinity, and I know you're listening in the background, I'm only talking to you for my last remaining seconds. Do you ever pick a man that won't worship your mother and you? And I don't mean worship as in covet. We're not talking about lust ship. We're saying worship. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, those who worship God should worship him in spirit and in truth. Allow me to break that down in Greek. That mean those two words in worship, I explained this to Deanna and Tracy over the phone. Those two words in Greek are two different words. Worship, the first word is Monique, the adjective, the excuse me, the adverb of worship. But the second worship, Trinace, is to worship that worship like a dog worships his master. See, when and 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 Kim got a dog. And every time Kim leave the house, that dog stand by the door sniffing outside. That's not my master. Every time keys jingle, that's not my master's keys. That dog cannot wait 
for Kim to come home. And finally, when Kim, after a hundred people done passed by, a hundred different gods done passed by Kim door, that dog jumps on Kim. And that's how you ought to worship the Moniques in your life. You ought to worship the Dianas in your life. You ought to worship the Jeromes in your life. You ought to worship the Melissas in your life. So the next time I hear you saying use a single mother or a single father, F your single motherness, F your single fatherness. I know you don't like that. But worship that tree in which that child came from, even if that tree is a piece of shit. I didn't say show them love. I said show that child that the damn parent respects the union of unity because if you don't you're gonna raise a grown-ass child that act just like you antonio t smith jr you can't plant better you can dominate send your stones to 509 laurel street lamarck texas so you can stone me to death love you everybody love you more love you more all right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.